Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I have started a new tutorial series on Node-RED. Uh, Node-RED is one of the best tool for creating IoT applications. Uh, you can run Node-RED Node anywhere on a device, in the cloud or locally and in on any platform whether it is a windows or a linux platform uh, in today's tutorial we will see how to install and create flows in node rate on the uh, windows 7 operating system uh, so let's start the basic prerequisite is to install node rate on windows we must install the node.js and npm node packet manager I let's check uh, whether Node.js and NPM are installed installed on my uh, laptop or not. Uh, I have already installed that. Just to make sure that uh, we we will check which version is installed on my laptop. I run this command to check the node is installed or not. So you can see here version 12.18.0 is already installed let's check for uh, npm node packet manager as well npm space dash v it will display the version of node packet manager so the node packet manager and node.js are already installed on my system uh, now to install node red on the in the Windows 7 you have to run this command in the command prompt see in CMD I have already installed node red as well so I will just start the node red to start node red just uh, run a simple command node dash red and you will see the Node Red server is running on localhost that is port on port number 1880. Uh, we will go to that URL Node Red server URL that is 127.0.0.1.1880. And we will create the simple flow here. The most common flows are to get started with. Uh, we will go with the most common flow that is, we will inject a data from this timestamp and we will display this using this debug node that is message payload. Uh, just you need to drag and drop these uh, nodes on the workspace and connect this to each other this is a basic flow uh, first simple flow uh, just like hello world program in any programming languages and once you're done with the uh, connecting just click on deploy and go in debug mode click on debug mode once I clicked here I will get the uh, time timestamp So, actually, this is uh, this time stamp is in uh, a second. So, uh, we will convert this time stamp into a formatted string. For that, now we will insert a function in which uh, we will convert this uh, time stamp into the formatted uh, formatted string, date string. So for that we will take a function function node drag and drop the function node here and adjust this according according to your space. Uh, let's write a function which will which will format this string we are getting from timestamp. Let's create a obs, let's create a variable. 
variable called date variable in the sense this is the object of the class uh, date this is my message payload so get the message payload into the object called date message dot payload let's uh, format this uh, payload to a formatted string message dot payload message dot payload is equal to date dot to string date dot to string we are formatting this uh, date to string as this is a javascript function so we have to end a statement with the semicolon this is a simple uh, simple code to convert the timestamp into the uh, formatted date click on done now click on deploy now if i change uh, now if i click on this node you can get the standard time standard time rather than uh, this uh, timestamp so you can see here this is a uh, uh, current date and time now according to indian standard time uh, thank you viewers that's it for today